So hi and welcome to today's video. So today I'm going to be doing an application and first impressions video of this product here. So this is Garage Therapy 3 Ceramic Sealant. Um, so I did promise this probably two or three weeks ago now um, when I did a review of the Decon shampoo behind me that I bought at the same time as this. I was a big fan of that um, so I'll leave a link in the description. If you haven't seen my review of that definitely go and check it out. It's a good product and one that I think you should, you should definitely consider getting. I um, really like that. So I'm going to be talking about this product here. So this is one of the protection products in Garage Therapy's lineup. So it is basically sort of a cross between a sealant and ceramic coating, hence the name ceramic sealant. <laughs> and it basically, it's sort of got that ceramic technology involved with it, so SiO2, but it's not a sort of, you, you don't have to worry about kind of the issues with applying the ceramic coating. Um, it's not kind of a nightmare, you don't have to do it indoors, um, although that is kind of beneficial with anything, but it's something that you can apply outside um, and it's just a little bit easier to work with so it's just more beginner friendly if you've not worked with ceramic coatings and I haven't personally um, I can't ceramic coat my car because I only can work on it outside I can't pull um, the car into a garage big enough so basically um, this is sort of as close as I can get really to a ceramic coating so it's basically today it's just going to be not a full blown review testing the hydrophobics and the durability and things like that that's something that I will be doing over the next sort of few weeks and months possibly um, and a few different cars just to kind of really test it out see what it's like to live with and things like that but today it's just going to be basically my application and first impressions of using the products having used it on a couple of different cars actually probably I think four different cars now um, but yeah so I've tried this out a little bit um, but basically I'm going to be starting off with talking about the application process so I actually did run into a couple of issues when applying this product nothing that having spoken to Mars um, from Garage Therapy that we didn't sort out um, but actually what happened is I applied this to my car a couple of weeks ago uh, I think it was maybe three weeks ago now actually um, and basically after washing it on the third week what happened was the water's behaviour just wasn't sort of responding as I would have liked the sheeting was quite slow and the beading just wasn't what I'd expected and what I'd kind of seen from the people's reviews so what I did is I contacted Mars um, and we sort of just chatted really about how I actually applied it, the prep and things like that and sort of concluded that basically what happened is the product hadn't properly bonded to the to the paint surface and um, so there was an issue with the prep when I um, applied it that meant that it just basically sort of slipped off and it hadn't properly bonded. So sort of a bit of background to that is what I did is I applied um, Gion Wet Coat and I kept it quite topped up and um, I think it was topped up at the time possibly with um, I think it was that one there, so Dunkin' Biscuit um, Ceramic QD that I picked up from a um, subscription box when I was trying to just get it through to next wash um, because I didn't have time to apply that and basically I think I underestimated the products that were on there and what happened is it just didn't bomb properly so w what I actually did to prepare it is I washed it with Decon and I also applied um, Carchem panel wipe and I just don't think that it did a good enough job at actually removing what was underneath. So what I will say about this product is that if you don't get the prep right, you might potentially run into the issues that I have. So what you really kind of need is a completely bare paint surface. So when you run in low pressure water over it, if it needs to look dead, basically from, from what I kind of experienced, I think that that's sort of the safest thing to do to ensure that, you know, it's going to bond with the paintwork properly because it's not like throwing a wax over something where it'll just sort of stick on and you won't run into any issues. With this, you do need to sort of really kind of consider the prep. So Garage Therapy do say that for the best kind of possible experience, if you do a full decontamination, you clay it, iron remove, tar remove, and also um, actually lightly polish and then follow it with a panel wipe, then you're gonna run into the best issue, um, sorry, the best experience. And I completely get that. Um, that's gonna be the best way to ensure that the paint's completely smooth and um, there's nothing else on it. But obviously, um, if you read the back of this, the durability is around five to six months and you're probably not gonna do that every five to six months. So I tried to use Decon to just strip it off and basically underestimated Gion Wet Coat a little bit. And I think it was still on there, sort of speaking to Matt, so that was his kind of opinion of it um, and what he sort of thought had happened. So I actually went ahead and applied this again on my car and it's not been on for that long now it's only been on for a few days but judging from the water behavior at this point it looks like it's better and um, so i'll keep you updated on that and it will go obviously with my full review and i'll be talking about that as well but 
the first thing to kind of keep in mind with this product is um, I think the preparation is really, really important. Um, although I think you can use it as sort of a top of ceramic coatings, you've got to be careful that whatever you're topping it on top of isn't sort of at the end of its durability. So I think what happened is I basically sort of killed off Gion wet coat enough so that I thought it had gone but it was still there. So when you put something else on top and then Gion wet coat finally decides to give up, that just slips off with it because that's on top, if that makes sense. Um, so it's just something to be aware of. Basically, you want to make sure that you're completely removing whatever's underneath before you go ahead and pop that on top, unless you are applying it as a topper to a full-blown ceramic coating. So just something to keep in mind. Of course, you can use Decon shampoo, but just be wary that it doesn't remove everything every time. You might take multiple hits um, or potentially need a panel wipe and things like that. So just something to keep in mind when applying this product so you don't run into the issue that I did. Um, my own fault really i sort of i put it on i thought yeah that's that's right it's gone the, the coating's gone but it, it clearly hadn't so um i've applied that now and i'll keep you posted on how it's performing over the next few weeks and months and um, so also what i wanted to discuss was how you actually apply it um so that actual process so i'm gonna get pop them here so basically what you'll need is you'll either need three microfiber towels or you'll need a microfiber applicator and two towels so that's the option i use so Essentially what I did is spread it over the surface with this microfiber applicator. So this is one from the rag company, really, really soft, nice, um, good quality. And then I also use two microfiber towels. So the reason for that is because you need one microfiber, well, microfiber towel to level it. And um, so after the first 30 to 60 seconds of applying it with this, what you actually do is just level it, take down the high spots. So that sort of reduces the issues that you might get with streaking. And then after that, you buff it with a clean microfiber towel. So you could potentially use the same one and keep flipping it, but you're going to potentially be spreading products at that point. So the safest option is to go with two separate ones so you're not getting issues with streaking. So you can replace this with another microfiber instead if you don't want to use an applicator, that'll be fine. But I just find that this is sort of great for getting that really even coverage. So if you want to pick this up from the rag company it's a really nice one um, i've used it a few times now and it's, it's really 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 soft and it feels premium i think it was around four pounds so it's not the cheapest but it's good quality and these are both rag company towels as well so with regards to the towels you're best off using something quite low pile and um, so not these really really plush fluffy and um, buffing towels those are gonna potentially just not, they don't have as much kind of grab to them when you remove product and you find that the low low pile has a little bit, little bit more bite to it it doesn't shed the fibers as much and things like that as well so you'll probably get a better experience if you use a low pile and that is what my um, garage therapy actually um tell you to do as well so pop these back down so in terms of the application and how you actually you know the cure times and things like that so this is something that i want to talk about in this video as well basically on the back it does have directions um, and it basically says to prime your applicator pad or your microfiber towel with three to four sprays and then spray a couple of sprays on the panel, spread it over and then wait for 60 seconds, potentially slightly longer if you are in cold conditions but I applied it in around, I think it was around 10 to 12 degrees so it's a reasonably good day for working on the car um, so I went for that 60 seconds and then you level the products with your first microfiber and then it does say so step four in here it does say it says level it and then it says with a clean microfiber buff everything off now i've got a slight issue with that um nothing major but basically after having watched a few more videos on youtube as you probably already have if you're watching this one and also kind of speaking to Maz himself as well from garage therapy um there should be a bit of time between the leveling and the buffing so it should be around one to two minutes and um, again depending on whether you're in hot or cold conditions a bit bit less if you're in hot conditions and sort of towards that two minute mark if you're in colder conditions however on the instructions it reads to me like you would level it then buff it straight away and it doesn't really talk about the time in between that so it's not a massive issue if like a lot of people are probably watching this video who watch loads of youtube videos and really kind of put a little bit of research into how they apply the product but I think there's a potential danger for someone who maybe has picked this up off a distributor and just applies it just according to that, doesn't watch any videos and doesn't read into it anymore 
there was a potential for them to level it and buff it straight away, potentially even after 30 seconds, which they might run into kind of issues with that, with it not properly bonding. And that is something I did the first time that I applied it on my car. And I think that that, along with the actual prep, could have been a potential issue. Um, so I don't know whether that potentially needs adding to the label. Personally, um, I think that it needs making maybe slightly more obvious um, for people who are potentially picking it up without um, doing the research a little bit more. Um, but generally, in terms of how you apply it, it's very, very easy. It doesn't take long. You can sort of do one panel and then move on to the next as that's sort of curing and then go back to it. It doesn't take long at all. So do your whole car. My car's quite small, probably took me about 10 to 15 minutes. If you're working on a bigger car, you're probably going to look towards that sort of 15 20 minute mark so it is a quick process it's not like sort of you have to put loads of elbow grease in to actually buff the product off it's very very nice to work with and it is an enjoyable experience so i like actually applying this product it's not something that i dread like some of the waxes that i've applied in the past it is really enjoyable and just goes on quite easy and also buffs off easy so in terms of the buffing off um in terms of streaks I've applied it to now four cars and I've run into streaking once on the bonnet and it wasn't anything bad and basically with a bit of bit a little bit of elbow grease it did come off quite easily but what you can actually do and what I've seen a lot of other YouTubers do as well is take a very very lightly damp microfiber towel so you can just sort of spritz it um, just with a spray trigger that just a very lightly um, coat it in water but you want it when I say damp I mean barely damp and then just run over as you would quite light pressure and the streaking will go so that's something you can do if you run into streaking but say one out of four times that happens so it's not and it only happened on the bonnet so it's not something that you've got to really worry about too much with this product it's not a tendency to streak um like some of the other kind of products some sealants and, and waxes and things like that it doesn't leave behind like hologramming that you can is run into issues with it does apply like a very nice clean finish and um, so speaking of the finish um there's two things that you're going to notice when you apply this that is incredibly glossy and incredibly slick. Now, I made a video probably it's quite a while ago now actually, uh, talking about why I don't think waxes make your car glossy. And I stand by what I said in that video in terms of I think that if you want glossy paint and you want the paint to look really good, then you're going to have to look into the condition of the paint, whether it's scratch and swirl free and decontaminant free and things like that. Um, and that waxes don't offer as much gloss as you might expect based on what they say on the label. However, this product <laughs> is glossy, um, and I definitely will say that the finish it leaves behind is stunning. Um, my car had never looked as good as when I applied this product, so I think that part of that is down to the actual condition of the paint. And you know, don't expect it to work miracles if you're applying that on something that's completely swirled and horrible finish. You're not gonna get mind-blowing results that you might have seen on other people's photos however in terms of glossiness it's it's probably the best i've tried um i've tried this product here um this p21s um it's sort of more of a show wax and it's as nice if not nicer than that to be honest so i do think in terms of gloss if you're looking for that then you'll definitely not be disappointed with that it leaves a really really nice finish and going with that finish is also the slickness um, so you, you run the back of your hand over the paintwork afterwards it just it's so slippy it's crazy how slick the finish is so that's obviously going to help with things like the water repellency things like being dust and dirt repellent and just generally keeping the car clean i've noticed that cars that i've applied this to just look cleaner for longer um, and with sort of less slick products you get that sort of attracting that dirt and it's just not something you get with that it just it's really slick sort of clean finish and it just it looks really really good so in terms of finish it's definitely one of if not the best products i've tried I'm sort of blown away with with that aspect of it and um, so as i said i will be doing a full review of this talking about all the other factors that i've not covered in this video so if you aren't subscribed already it'd be great if you could hit the subscribe button if you want want to see that if you haven't seen my video about the decon shampoo then definitely check that out as well but in terms of my overall kind of opinion of this product, I think that it's a really, really great product. The finish it leaves is fantastic. I think that the experience of applying it is easy. However, if you do the prep right, if you don't do the prep right, or if you rush and buff it off too soon, you're going to potentially run into issues. So just things to keep in mind with. Um, it's not sort of an issue with the product. It's more you're just put, going to have to put in that kind of extra effort if you want to get the best out of it. So just something to keep in mind if you are planning on applying this and you're not already, um, just make sure you get the prep right and you're going to probably be fine. 
on the other cars that I've applied it to, I haven't run into these issues. And those were on cars that the paint was just flat. There was no, no protection on it. So I think that the issue was that I had some protection behind that I hadn't properly removed. So thanks to Maz, um, if you are watching, for helping me out with that. Um, I'm happy with how it's performing at the moment. So I'll be doing that review soon. Um, but thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you have enjoyed it, found it helpful. Um, if you are new to the channel, it'd be great if you could hit the subscribe button. Um, also great if you could leave me a comment. I feel like hearing people's thoughts about whether you've tried this product or any other products similar, um, kind of your experiences with them. My Christmas list is getting very long now with product recommendations. However, there's always room. Um, <laughs> my birthday will come up soon and I'll probably buy some more stuff that I don't probably need looking at this behind me. But um, I do appreciate everyone's kind of recommendations and thoughts and I do like getting involved in the comments. So if you are thinking about commenting, do it. I enjoy interacting and doing that. So it, also, if you could like the video, that'd be great as well. It definitely helps out the channel. But thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.